Coming up next on The Jeff Curley Show, what's on your bucket list? We'll meet an entrepreneur who's helping your dreams come true. That's just ahead. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. I heard a motivational speaker one time ask the question, do you know where the wealthiest land on the planet is? It's, it's not in Saudi Arabia. It's not in Highland Park. He, uh, this motivational speaker said it's at any cemetery because that's where all the dreams are buried. Mm -hmm. So many of us drift through life and then we wake up and either we don't have the health or the finances to make our dreams come true. A man who wants to change that narrative, uh, entrepreneur, friend of mine, Matt Hilton, with a new organization he just formed called Who Do You Know? Matt, thanks for coming on the show. And thank you, Jeff. It's good to see you again. So tell us about the organization. Yeah, so I... It is a nonprofit, and we are focused on bringing joy and love back. Uh, we want to encourage imagination and hope again in people to dream about things that they want to do, people they want to see, experiences they want to have, and uh, and yeah, it's uh, it's for anybody and everybody, any walk of life. I want you to share the story of how it got started. I mean, you you had something happen to you a decade ago. Yeah. So. Right out of a decade ago, I had a, uh, a meeting down in Austin with some fellow realtors and the woman who was leading the mastermind, her name was Mo Anderson. At that time, she was vice chairman of the board of Keller Williams. And she went through the beginning of the mastermind talking about her uh, big why and why it's important to have that, your purpose. And then she went into her bucket list and she said, if you don't have a bucket list created, you probably should have one. And so she started going through some items there at the top of her bucket list. And one of them was to meet Eddie Holiday. And if you have grown up or been around Dallas, you know about Eddie Holiday. And um, so on the drive back from Austin, Jeff, I was like, man, I know where Eddie's corporate office is. I'm just going to stop in there. I mean, why have two iconic female women in real estate not met each other? They have the financial means. They have everything else that they could make it happen. It just hasn't happened for some reason. So I stopped in, spoke with Ebby. She was 99 years old at the time. And um, she was sitting there writing thank you notes when I walked in her office. And um, I told her what I was up to. And she said, well, let's make it happen. Wow. And that's been kind of percolating now for a decade, and especially because of COVID. I mean, we, we all need kind of a... Um, a a chance to dream again, don't we? I think so, so many of us are, are traumatized, whether we choose to acknowledge it or not. Um, getting some bucket list stuff done, like uh, jumping out of a plane or something like that. <laughs> uh, so how would it work? Uh, does, does somebody nominate themselves? Do they nominate somebody else? How, how does one get involved? So that's a great question and a detail that we don't have worked out yet. So this is three weeks young. Mm. Um, I've already filed for, with the state for a mm. um, nonprofit corporation. Uh, looking to get uh, the designation from the IRS for tax exempt status. But yeah, so those are details that we want to work through. I'm looking for people who are passionate about making people's dreams come true, passionate about working um, to uh, better mental health illness and awareness. And uh, so if you're interested, that's one thing I'm looking for. And Jeff, if you're interested. <laughs> well, you know what? I, I, I want to get involved in some form or fashion. Uh, and it just occurred to me that it seems like um, with an organization called Who Do You Know, that everybody knows somebody. Uh, in fact, I remember the late, great Kid Craddock played a game on the air occasionally where he'd say, um, uh, 
I'm going to give a prize to the person who can connect us to the biggest star. Like, if you can have the biggest star oh, call in because mm -hmm. you know them. And it was just random stuff like, yeah, hey, I'm Troy Aikman's mechanic. I can get Troy to call in. And then Troy would call in. And so, wow. I mean, I think, I think you're onto something. Yeah, so it, it's very similar to that. And uh, in 2014, <clears throat> there was an event that I was a part of. And, and at that event, I worked together with some vendors in the Collin County area to make five people's dreams come true. And one of them was uh, for a young man who had leukemia to meet Spider-Man. Mm. That was his bucket list item, right? Of something that he wanted to do. And so we made that dream a reality that day. Yeah. Um, so it is that. It's about who do you know? I started to call it something along the bucket list angels or something mm -hmm. like that. But after I started thinking about it, Jeff, I was like, you know, it's all about in connections. It's yeah. about relationships and who you know. And so... I just figured the who do you know and um, would be a great eye catcher on a shirt or a great conversation starter. And I like I like it that you're allowing people to get involved in a real meaningful way. And it's not it's not make a wish. It's not um, you know you don't you don't have to be sick or anything like that. Not at all. Not at all. It's for any walk of life or any person. Uh, and just like my example with Mo Anderson and Evie Holiday, again they both had the financial means. They both had the wherewithal to make it happen. Just for some reason, it didn't happen. So okay. maybe it is somebody, you know, knowing that about somebody else and they make a nomination. Maybe it's just the fact of people dreaming and put it out there into the universe. Yes. And just seeing what can take place. What are the possibilities of a, of a great future? And uh, this is a very young organization. You've got a Facebook page. You were telling me before we went on that you um, put a message out to your community asking what's on your bucket list and what kind of answers were you getting yeah so i was getting answers like um you know hot air balloon ride or jumping out of a plane and skydiving right uh someone also mentioned i can't remember the artist name but they were mentioning uh to be backstage while this artist was uh, doing a concert to, That's to cool. enjoy the concert from that perspective so it's not like these big grandiose like you know going to space or but who knows? That may happen in the future. Right. But right now, as we are at the stage that we're at, those smaller items, those bucket list or dream items that people have uh, are pretty attainable. Yes. And, and they will come true. Man, I think this could get really big really fast, especially with things going viral. So if, if some of these bucket list items are caught on tape, uh, I could see those going viral. Yeah. And it's... Interesting that you say that, Jeff, uh, because one of the things I'm asking a promotional um, designer to, to be creative and come up with is something, have you heard of Flat Stanley? Mm, yeah, yeah. Where you go around and you're yeah. visiting different places and you carry this piece of paper of this man, right? Yeah. I'm thinking of something like that to be created for our organization so that when people go on trips or they meet somebody or they have an experience, they have this item, not cumbersome, but something that connects that event to the organization. That's really cool. So, uh, flat mat. No, 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 not a flat mat. No, <laughs> flat. Mat. It does have a ring to it. It yeah. does. And I, uh, let, let's work on that. Um, okay, we only have about a minute left. Uh, final thoughts. What would you like to leave the audience with? Yeah. So, in the midst of COVID, in the midst of just our nation and where we are right now, um, you know, with relationships and the bickering and the fighting and just whatever else is going on. I see this as a, a big need uh, in, in our community um, and our society as a whole. You know, mental health um, awareness and illness is something that is, is top of mind for a lot of people. Uh, and when you give to somebody else, it has mental benefits, mental benefits and physical benefits to you. And when you receive something from someone else, it gets you out of that dark place. Or if you can imagine a brighter future of what could be it would help people who are in depression or suffering from anxiety to get out of that dark space. Wow. So this is great. There we're, we go. We're going to have to have you back. Uh, we're going to put the website up one more time. It redirects to your Facebook page, and that's WDYK.org. Matt Hilton, who do you know? That's awesome. Fantastic. We'll have you back uh, again to, to update this journey. All right. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate right. it. And that's it for now. We'll see you next time.